Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and this tutorial for the Animation Designer plugin. In this video, we will fix some raw mockup animation to look correct. And we will turn this animation with jittering foots and arms into much more solid animation like this. To do this, we will use just multiple IK snap points feature. Let's start! So it's animation from raw mockup data library from the asset store, it's free package. And I'm using this animation. I needed to change settings a bit to bake rotation and Y position, changing root transform position to center of mass, cutting out first frame and offsetting the Y axis by 180 degrees since it's rotated in an inverted rotation. Then we can drop it into Animation Designer and work with it. It's humanoid animation clip, so I enabled humanoid AK in case it can help me a bit. And you can see that this animation have a lot of jittering on the foot and some jittering on the arms. We will fix it in a while. Ok, so let's switch to the IK category. Enable left leg IK. Turn on multiple IK points mode at first IK point. And unfortunately, Animation Designer is interpreting rotation for the IK foot for this model in the wrong way, so I need to adjust it manually. But it's not a big deal. I also noticed that hint for the knee looks wrong for this animation, so I will switch the auto hint mode to follow hips rotation and add small forward offset for the knee. It should help the foot pose for the IK. And now when playing back the animation, you can see that IK point for the foot is moving and to avoid that we can enable the word position IK points with this toggle. So let's adjust timing for this foot ground contact and we want to keep it up to this time on the animation clip time. Alright, and fade it out a bit longer. Yeah, so snap point hold it and release it in the right timing. Now when foot touch ground again we want another point. Let me adjust the foot rotation. Let's keep it a bit longer. Yeah, perfect timing. And let's find time for the final step. It will be here. Ah, the rotation. Ah, actually maybe let's move the foot a bit lower. Keep this position to the end. Let's do some overview to check correctness. Ok, everything seems to work. Now let's do the same thing for the right leg. Position modify, multiple IK points mode. At first still position, keep it a bit longer. Oh, I forgot about the word position. Adjust it again. Ok, adjust timing accordingly to the animation. Ok, this point is working correctly and now let's find another ground contact and it's here. Let's adjust rotation. Let's check for how long we should keep this position. Ok, here we should... yeah. Ok, so let's make left leg fade out too. Let's adjust it. Alright, so let's preview the whole animation now. Let's compare with and without the corrections. Nice. So now let's take care for the arms, since they are jittering too when touching ground. And for arms we do the same as for the legs, so enable IK, multiple IK points and find right time in the animation clip time, add point, adjust rotation, Ugh, I again forgotten about the word IK position. Ok, let's find best rotation for the hand and it should look much better, yeah. But maybe fade it a bit sooner. 
keep it a bit longer yeah okay great that looks nice and let's do the same for the right arm Okay, final time adjustments. Yeah. Let's preview how it looks now. Yeah, that feels much better. But I feel that left leg last point should fade in a bit longer because this movement feels too sudden. I will actually move the IK position a bit. Yeah. Let's preview it again. Okay, for now let's export it and check how it looks in the play mode. Let's check the file. Okay, let's loop it for the preview purposes. Let's apply it to my model. Okay, it seems the legs at the end of the animation are overlapping each other and the knee hint for the right leg is off a bit, so let's fix these things. Hmm, let's also limit this stretch here a bit. So let's just lower max stretch value. Now let's find the overlapping moment. Yeah, it's here. And well, to fix it, we will use the transition position offset. So when it transitions to the IK snap position, we will add some extra position offset to the side. Like this, yeah. But it's a bit too much, so let's adjust it. And also for the right leg, we will offset the final IK step position a bit to the side to help it. And let's fix the knee hint with the follow pelvis rotation and a bit of offset. Maybe like this, yeah. And now it should look much more correctly, yeah. Okay, let's export it again. And there we have it. Jittering row mockup animation into the usable animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked this. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Hit a like or subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.